has returned to the uh, MDVA Melee Discord chagrin. Yes. Let's go. Uh, so Milo took game one. Bees just took game two. And uh, Milo's going to FD for the chain grabs. No surprises yep. there. And y'all are joined by the great commentary duo of Louis, also known as Goblins and Ghouls. That's not, that's not what we... Uh, I didn't uh, co-sign on that. Uh, no, no. Uh, but regardless, Milo, uh, so Milo, uh, beat me, which is, like, impossible, you know, so that means, <laughs> that must mean Milo is just incredible. Uh, Milo is, is good, that's for sure. Milo's pretty good this matchup. Uh, I, was, his, I was very spooked when he was playing me. Yeah. Pe Peach Pops is a bit different, in my opinion. I just feel like it Peach is, is it's like. A matchup for sure. It doesn't even matter if the Peach has played you before. Like, like the Peach just hates Peach Puff, you know? It's true. Like, the only Peach I've ever encountered that does not hate Peach Puff is Lod. Yeah, Lod is. He's, he is very much an anomaly when it comes to that. Yeah. Also, that was really unfortunate because they were like 100 to 100, and then Milo just like died and then the classic thing that happens when you're both at high percent happens where yeah. immediately you come down and try to get a kill and then they combo you to like 70 and then you're like where did, where did, we were just at even that's it though yeah yeah the thing is that falco um falco has such a good setup from percentages like I don't know, like 80 to like 120 versus most floaty characters where he can shine with the double jump up there and get the tip of it, and it'll kill a lot of floaties off the top. Oh, yeah. And Especially, it's kind of hard to know which way you have to DI. It's yeah. really subtle. It's based on like which yeah. side you're on of Falco, but he's so thin during that portion that it's really hard to tell. Yeah, so floaties, like, if they miss the tech there, it's pretty freaking scary, you know, to, to hear the shine because... Falco, you know, especially on the stage where Peach doesn't have anywhere to, you know, tech on the platforms, um, he can kind of, kind of be lethal. Yeah. 
And I mean, the thing about this stage is it's good for Peach, but it's good for Peach for like a very specific Ooh. reason. Yep. And I have not seen Milo get many chain grabs. And if you're not getting any chain grabs, I honestly kind of think that this is a Falco counter pick. I, yeah. I actually, I played Milo, like I said, in tournament, and Milo did not chain grab me a single time, so maybe it's like, maybe it's like a principal thing. Maybe, but I don't, really, I, I don't know. I don't like the stage if you can't chain grab for Peach. Yeah, no, I, I think sure. it's honestly kind of bad for, Fal or for poor Peach. Just the lasers are really hard to get away from and everything like yeah. that. And Peach having the threat of down smashing on platforms is just like terrifying for Falco. Yeah. So eliminating that possibility means that like Falco can be a lot more confident when he's like double jumping and he's you know throwing himself up there. Crown of Dreams though, uh, I feel like this is the more logical counter yeah. pick if you're a peach like Milo. Yeah. I, Milo Ooh. actually did very well versus I believe it was Kylo um, earlier on in this Milo bracket. versus Kylo. Yep. In in this matchup. <laughs> Uh, not in this matchup, in Spacey matchup, but on this stage. Yeah, in a chic beach. Oh, it wasn't even Spacey. Never mind. Yeah. But still, on the stage, Milo got plenty of down smashes, and it was it was pretty great. Yeah. The crazy thing to me is that the first stock has not. Okay, so Milo got the first stock, but like, the frustrating thing is Falco is like comboing Peach up to like 128, and then not getting a kill move, and then mm -hmm. I love Falco's will just kind of fish for one, like. Yeah. Everyone does it. And the moment you start fishing for a kill move, that's when you get opened up because you're, yeah. you're starting to become really obvious with what you're doing. And Peach opening you up is very bad. Especially on a small stage like this. Because Peach hits like a freaking train. Yeah, see, this is the Armada. You live up to like 181. Yeah, right, yeah. There it'll do it though. I mean, Bees didn't lose that much percent on that. This is like one combo away from even. Nice power shield. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Milo loves to cover any kind of jump right above the ledge. He is there and he is yeah. there quick. So if you do the newbie Falco get up to the stage, Milo's there with the punish. Yeah. That's very bad if you are without your double jump. Yes, it, that's one of the things. That's one of the things that makes that so bad is that not only is it really obvious, but you die if it doesn't go your way. Yep. I like this percent, and I like the way Cameron's playing right now. He's just going for a lot of safe pokes and he's waiting for Milo to overextend. Yeah, that's a very committal out of shield option. Yeah. Bad DI in the back air. Uh, ooh, ooh! Wow. Ooh. Okay, so that was, I, that spacing was immaculate. I thought. <laughs> Like Cameron was gonna get hit by down smash, and I think he was thinking about teching it, and Milo just like popped him with the perfectly spaced air. Like, yeah, that was amazing. Ooh, Cameron trying to trying to close it out. Milo trying to bring it to a game five. Yeah, and it's Ooh. looking like Milo's game right now. He's in very much in control. That grab was so freaking cool. <laughs> yeah, wasn't ready that time. He's doing the old no mix up mix up. The classic. Ooh. Okay, that was smart. Yep. Yeah. Milo's Falco, one of the few characters that can just jump right up there and contest her. Milo's survival DI has not been great this set. It seems like he's been caught off guard with a lot of these. Yep. Oh my god. I, I love that he fast fell to get the nair there. Yeah, that was crazy. That made a lot of sense. Ooh, good power shield. Okay. Can he bring it to a game five? The thing about Cameron, though, is that Cameron is really patient and he's got some great combos on floaties. Oh, Ooh, okay. Yeah, he definitely didn't mean to get the soft yeah. hits there. Yeah. Got the bad hit of up air. Uh, Milo falling through him because yep. weak hit of up air does not send you anywhere. Literally anywhere. And he fell just right into that back air. Milo, you know, saw you got the bad hit and was like, all right, well, like, the game kind of kind of screwed you. And I'm but gonna, I mean, we I'm take, take it out. Yeah, exactly. So, like, what are you gonna do? Yeah, good awareness by Milo to clean up there. Because game five of Pokemon Stadium, uh, this is where he beat me earlier today when he was down three stocks to one. Wow. So Milo is not bad on Stadium. Okay. Nice power shield. <laughs> I thought he was going to grab for sure there. 
Right, there's Alka. Oh. oh. A little impatient on the forward smash there. I feel like jab is a lot better. Yeah, it's much safer. Man, if it does hit, then you can forward smash. Yeah. Or say, like, DS straight up, you can, like, back air. Yeah. All that. Nice. Nice wait. Once they, they commit to miss tech, you can react to all the options there. Cameron loves to go as far out as possible and do an uppy and just drift into the ledge and catches a lot of people off guard, but Milo just waited as long as possible and then grabbed the ledge. Yeah. That was a really well-placed back air. Knowing exactly where Milo's going to be. And so far, this game five has been very even. This transformation kind of sucks for Peach, I think. Yeah. Falco can just hop on the platforms super easily. And yeah. Get a hitbox out first. Cameron with a great weight on the down smash gets a phantom down air cool. shield. Poke. Went for the Armada versus Leffen combo. That's a hard combo to hit though. I don't think anyone's ever hit it except for Armada yeah. <laughs> against Leffen. At least that I know. Ooh. Great up, yeah, shield saved his life. Yeah. Now he's in the corner. That was the third attempt at that, but it was the first one that was like, it really worked out. Yeah. I really like, good power shield. I feel like Milo kind of missed space there. I feel like Milo's usually ready for the down air. But, yeah. Uh, he's up right now, and this is the spot where if you get patient versus Peach, this, she just gets a giant, you know, bit of extra credit. Yeah. And it's like, Ooh. you're like, oh, she's at 100. I can kill her. But with Peach, sometimes it's not that simple. Of course, Cameron. Um, doing it anyway, making it happen. Another nice up B. It seems like earlier Cameron would do like his safe pressure and then back off, and now he's going really ham on it, and that's why Milo is getting these um these upies out of shield. Ooh. Milo's shield a small, great power shield though to keep himself in the neutral. I mean, Milo can clearly power shield pretty, like, consistently. I would Ooh, like to see some power shield down guy. smashes. Oh, like I said, oh. he's, he's always he's right there at the ledge, Eve. Yeah. Oh, no, he has to recover. Okay. Yeah, that tree really was not good for Milo. Completely right. cut off his movement. Yeah. And B's just ate a bunch percent, too. Yeah. Fun fact, the technique Milo is doing right now is called knitting. Yep. And it's called that because you're looking for a stitch. Who coined that one? I don't know. Gotcha. I wonder who did. <sighs> okay. Alright, spends all that time and throws the turnip away anyway. Oh my god, that dash attack was so confident. Yeah. I think he wanted Cameron to try to whiff punish the up smash from that space. Yeah, so I think that was honestly him. a bait. Yeah, I agree. That was a really good slide off by Cameron. He might have just died there if not. Ooh. Nice shine. Does not uh, initially jump up there, though, so can't get the up air. Ooh, that's dead. Yeah, bad DI. Cameron's horizontal DI did, also is not Did you great see uh, Milo's player cam? After no. he got the kill, he sighed and said, Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. And now it's 0%, 0%, game 5, last stock. Great wave dash back air. Or forward smash. Oh, Cameron's pressure is oh so my God. scary right now. Milo's shield out. was like one or two hits from being Now he has to eat some stuff because his shield is just, you know, yeah, completely tiny. worn down. Oh, my God. Cameron's pressure oh, is so Okay, that right was now. a great near out. Okay. Ooh. He needs to get out of this corner. This is really important. Oh, is he going to grab? No. Oh, my God. Okay. Cameron's pressure has been non-stop this last stock. Holy moly. Okay, this oh, is this is the open up. Milo. Oh, but oh, this transformation is kinda, not good for Peach. In this scenario. Oh my God. Milo's still in it, though. Oh my god, Cameron I thought that was going to kill him. Because he, he uses double jump to shine, so... No, but I thought that the shine would have just killed on its own, honestly. Peach is a, a pretty low fall speed character at this yeah. percent, and that's a really... Oh, wait, wait, what? What? Did he double jump? What? Wow. Wait. That was, oh, that was no. the worst DI I have ever seen in my I, entire life. I thought he had a double jump. 